it became purple. Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. Steaks, wine, grilling, eating. Mm, I like it. I haven't tried this before, and when I thought about that, it's like it blew my mind. This might be the oldest way to marinate steaks in the entire world. People have literally been doing this since there were grapes and cows. Why haven't I done this before? I killed so many steaks. I could pound myself like crazy. So of course I'm gonna put it to the test with this beautiful ribeye. It's a black Angus ribeye with a lot of intramuscular fat, nice marbling in the rib cap, big chunk of fat in the middle. This is one of the best steaks you can get. I bought a bottle of wine. Casilero de Diablo is a Carmeniere. Absolutely gorgeous wine and this thing goes freaking deliciously with steak. So if you can drink this with a steak, you can probably also use it as a marinade. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do with this steak. I'm gonna put it in a tray and pour wine over it until it's fully submerged. Then I'm gonna set it in the fridge and leave it there for four hours. <laughs> Can't believe it. Look, look at the color. <laughs> I would say the Judging on the color, this steak is marinated. It became purple, the purple steak. It's so crazy. Now the steak is soaking wet. I'm gonna pat it dry and see if that purple color still stays on that steak. Seriously, this steak looks freaking weird. Getting a purple steak out of a, a bath of red wine might not be so surprising, but the color on this is kind of like unique. And I hope when I start cooking that steak, that unique color kind of disappears because it looks like beet. And, and beets are veggies and veggies are not meat. I'm gonna put the steak aside and then I'm gonna work on getting some flavor on that steak something for the outside. And since we're in the French style of cuisine, I'm gonna take one of these shallots and chop them fine. Then a garlic chopped fine. And of course, we gotta have some fresh rosemary. I'm gonna peel the leaves of a twig and then chop it fine as well. I want everything fine. With all these fresh ingredients chopped fine, I'm going to mix them together. One shallot, a garlic clove, and a twig of fresh chopped rosemary. And of course the seasoning is gonna need some salt. So I'm gonna take a tablespoon of fleur de sel and a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. Let's mix that up. And there we have it, a beautiful French style spice mix. Now of course I can't just put this on steak. I gotta have something that will connect this to my steak. So I'm gonna take the steak, take a little bit of olive oil, drizzle it on, rub it in, sprinkle on the spice mix. There we go, one side, both sides. This steak is ready to be grilled and I already fired up my Kamat. Excuse me. I already fired it up. It's up to temperature. I just put some charcoal in, lit it up with a couple of fire starters and waited until it was up to temperature, then put the cast iron grill grate in. And now we're good to go. There we go, purple steak on. My steak's not that thick, so I'm gonna go for a direct sear. I wanna get the sear marks on from the grill grate. Then when I got a good sear mark, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, a new hot position, let it cook for another 90 degrees. And if you're worried about not getting it up to temperature, you just close the lid. And that way all the ceramic heat gives off a lot of radiation and starts cooking that steak very, very intense. And I know I may be going overboard on the French thing here, but French makes some freaking amazing cheese. And as a Dutch guy, I always know how to appreciate that. So that's why I'm getting in a couple of slices of chum, which is an absolutely super smelly cheese. It goes really well with steak and with red wine. So I'm just gonna drop one on. The steak is done, time to get it off the grill. Ooh, that is one good looking steak. I'm gonna give that steak a few minutes to rest and while it's resting, I'm gonna sprinkle on some fresh thyme straight out of France. Oh, that is one tasty looking steak. Look at that, rustic. That steak's gotta go on a plate. This thing already looks freaking delicious. Of course, it's crazy rustic as it is but it's crazy tasty probably as well. With a bit of cheese on the side, a twig of thyme, and look at that, wine masterpiece. I can't resist taking a bite though. Look at that, that looks good. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, 
I'll leave you with a big thumbs up. See you guys next time. Until then, eat smart and keep on grilling. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Wow. It's good. <laughs>